How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another Digibyte video. Shout out to Fly Crypto Guy for creating this Digibyte logo. He's saying it was his first crack at it. Hopefully it is not your last because you've done an amazing job. So thank you, sir. This video is also brought to you by ChangeAngel.io. ChangeAngel is now an official sponsor of my YouTube channel, the details of which can be found in the description below. If you have not heard of ChangeAngel.io, they are a crypto to crypto, wallet to wallet, non-custodial crypto exchange. Uh, if you want to exchange Litecoin, Bitcoin, or all the other currencies they want for Digibyte or any of their other uh, coins that they have listed, it's very simple to do. Uh, you can also sign in using DigiID, so there's no need for a password using changeangel.io. They are self-described as the swap exchange for social good. So what does that mean exactly? Uh, basically, they give back to the projects that they have listed. Uh, they say that if it wasn't for blockchain technology, if it wasn't for cryptocurrency, there would be no need for exchanges. There would be no need for changeangel.io. So they are grateful for the uh, opportunity to be able to give back to the projects that have made their exchange possible. So every time you perform a swap, you know, say you swapped Bitcoin for Digibyte, then a portion of that fee... Uh, is given to the Digibyte awareness team to help them with marketing. And the same goes for all of the projects that they have listed. And I've also heard that they are going to be listing several new projects here in the short term. So getting into the news today, uh, as a reminder, UdoCrypt is going live when the Digibyte blockchain hits block 9,100,000, which is roughly around July 19th. So there is an update to your core wallet, 7.17.2. It is a mandatory update, so if you have not updated your core wallet yet, I highly encourage you to take the two to three minutes it takes to do so, open that core wallet up, and install the new update. I know a lot of people don't typically use the core wallet anymore. Uh, you know, it was kind of the go-to wallet in the early days before there were other options available, but now that it's on uh, multiple hardware wallets and there are other options out there, people don't typically open their core wallet as often as they used to. So please open up that core wallet, install this new update, and again, it's so that UdoCrypt can go live July 19th when the Digibyte blockchain hits block 9,100,000. So getting into some news today, this is a tweet from Anthem ID. They have uh, updated the DigiID, Anthem ID, Google, Google Chrome extension. Uh, it also works on Brave Browser, Microsoft Edge, uh, Firefox, etc. They've updated the user interface. They're saying a uh, shout out to uh, this gentleman here that provided that update to the user interface and I'll just click on my extension up here so you can see what it actually looks like it's definitely beautiful so uh, great work on that again if you have not heard of this update or not heard of this uh, extension or the application that goes with it I have videos that detail how to use it and I'll provide a link to that in the description below uh, other news today this is uh, news about you trust so uh, this was, it came out the other day, maybe you've seen it on Twitter, maybe not. So Utrust has officially been approved as a member of the VQF to operate as a financial intermediary, intermediary under Swiss anti-money laundering laws. So why is that a big deal? Because Digibyte is one of the pro or projects that they offer, so uh, any company that implements Utrust will be able to accept Digibyte at the point of sale. Other news about Utrust, uh, I don't know if this is legit or true or not. This is just a uh, something on Twitter. An apparent leaked image coming from Consensus uh, reveals that eBay might start accepting cryptocurrency. So uh, whether it's true or not now, I definitely think it'll be the case in the future as that's the, the direction society is heading. Uh, eventually, everybody's going to be accepting cryptocurrency. But the other interesting part, uh, there's no official statement, but eBay may be integrating Utrust, which again, Digibyte is implemented into Utrust. So, uh, you know, there's potential in the future that you could buy things on eBay using Digibyte. Uh, so, what exactly is that uh, VQF that they uh, obtained? So, basically, the VQF SRO exercises legally prescribed 
supervisory functions towards its members concerning the prevention of money laundering and terrorism financing. Approval for U-Trust as a member of the VQF is a crucial step in the journey to becoming a fully operational company. As a recognized SRO member under VQF, U-Trust will be subject to a number of stringent rules and guidelines in addition to rigorous audits. Uh, the company's onboarding and KYB or know your business processes for the merchants as well as AML which is anti-money laundering uh, compliance mechanisms will be monitored on an ongoing basis so that's a big deal uh, for being a legitimate company they, they basically set the standard for all other platforms coming in the future uh, they must meet these strict guidelines to uh, basically basically to allow merchants to accept them. It just makes it easy for the merchant to know, okay, you're AML compliant, uh, you have the know your business compliance. All of these things are very important for merchants or retailers to start accepting cryptocurrency at the point of sale. And Utrust uh, settles these transactions into fiat immediately for the merchant. So there's absolutely no risk for the merchant to start accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment. Uh, the, the consumer can spend that crypto and the merchant can receive fiat instantly. So basically, there's no reason they shouldn't start accepting cryptocurrency if that's what their customers want to spend. So again, Digibyte is implemented in Utrust, so it's a pretty big deal that, uh, you know, as more... The more success Utrust has, the more Digibyte's brand gets out there for the consumer to uh, start recognizing its potential. Other news on Digibyte, uh, the Digibyte Blockchain Summit in Malta is coming up just a few days away. May 23rd, May 24th is when that summit is. There is going to be over 5,000 attendees, over 300 different exhibitors, and 700 different investors. And Digibyte will be at this event. They will have their own booth. I believe Stephen P. Kendall is the one that uh, secured this booth, and he will be there to uh, showcase and talk about Digibyte. And ChangeAngel.io, which I mentioned earlier in the video, is... Uh, basically funding this trip and making it all possible. So thank you to Change Angel for that. Thank you to Stephen P. Kendall for getting this all set up. Uh, it's definitely a big deal with all of these people here, all of these different AI projects that are starting, all of these different uh, blockchain projects that are starting. It's going to be a big event with big investors, and it's just good publicity for Digibyte. You know, I believe I've heard... If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I believe I heard Jared Tate say once that uh, blockchain technology is going to be the rails for artificial intelligence. And Digibyte being one of the most superior blockchains would make sense if AI projects decided to utilize the Digibyte blockchain in some way. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a big deal for Digibyte to be able to showcase their capabilities in front of all these artificial intelligence projects and possibly, uh, you know, convince some of them to look into the Digibyte blockchain for, uh, you know, making their artificial intelligence products function as well as they can if they build something on top of the Digibyte blockchain. Other news about Digibyte, this is actually about VID who uses the Digibyte blockchain to valid to validate all of their uh, digital documents and even real world items such as the case with their Rembrandt painting that they put on the blockchain. It is now forever on the blockchain and uh, you know there will never be a fake copy of it or there will be but you'll know immediately that it's a fake and not the original thanks to VID technology. So this tweet came out from VID they said after a great talk with a large global industrial company we had some fun touring the site to be continued so they did not say which company this was but this tweet came out 10 or 11 hours ago and then they tweeted out this one uh, less than an hour ago where they made a new partnership Axvico I don't know if I pronounced that right so I don't know if this tour was for this company or if there is yet another partnership coming in the future. Uh, but that being said, they have partnered with Axvico. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but what is Axvico? Basically, uh, they are a company. This is saying what they do. Uh, they, uh, 
First, I'll read their little statement here. Does your company play an important role in society? Do you want to innovate with your company but don't know where to start? We help your company to be successful in the long term. We do this by developing your company or team with future-proof skills in combination with technologies such as blockchain and artificial intelligence. So basically, they train your employees, either internal or external, on the various types of disruptive technologies such as blockchain technology that can add value to your business model and transform the governance and everything, legal compliance, etc. Uh, they consult, advise, and uh, guide and research and experimenting with new applications and new technologies uh, within existing organizations or startup. These include uh, building business cases, identifying use cases, and realizing proof of concepts. And they also help you implement these technologies that they have just educated you about. So that's a big partnership for VID. Uh, you know, I'm sure they will have a lot of documentation that needs verified on the blockchain. And um, if they are looking to consult businesses and help them implement disruptive technologies, I think Digibyte has quite a few disruptive technologies that can definitely help uh, companies going into the future, uh, especially in terms of DigiID or, and various other products that Digibyte has coming in the pipeline, such as Digi Assets, where companies could... Uh, issue their own st uh, own shares as a digi asset or raise funding through digi assets and, and things of that nature so one of the last things I wanted to touch on this was a tweet uh, that I found someone was asking uh, when Vesti and Jared Tate replied he said Vesti is making a ton of progress more info to follow in the coming weeks so definitely can't wait to hear what Jared has to say about as far as updates coming along with Vesti if you're unfamiliar Vesti is bringing blockchain technology to real estate where uh, it's basically connecting tenants to potential um, renters uh, it'll help people find roommates and it, you can pay your rent through the Vesti application and it's actually cheaper than using other applications that use Visa or other methods like that. Uh, so definitely can't wait to see what type of progress has come out in the next coming weeks. Hopefully Jared can release like a video or uh, maybe a blog or a Medium article, something like that. Anyway, when that does happen... Be sure or rest easy knowing that I will cover it on my channel here. But that will wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it. Share it. Leave a comment. Oh, and I forgot. Um, I was inspired by the Amon Unlimited Content Creators um, QR code at the end of, uh, end of videos, you know, just to open up the potential for receiving tips. I've, I've never really asked people for tips, uh, but... Again, I was inspired by that video, so if you want to tip my channel, feel free to do so. That is my QR code. Uh, you know, I'm not asking for people to send me mass amounts of money, but if you want to send me uh, 10 cents, 1 cent, whatever you want, feel free to do so. There is my QR code. Thank you all for the support, and I'll see you guys later.